get the Intel Pentium Dual Core E5400 CPU over here. This is the this uses the LGA 775 or socket 775 from Intel, and this is an Intel chip meant for the P45 chipsets or maybe your P31, your P41, your X50, uh, X38, X48, and so on and so forth. Even your 945 chipset and your 965 motherboards they will support this. So over here, it's a dual core desktop, uh, and it's, there's an Intel intelligent power capability. Intel Smart Cache, Intel 64-bit architecture for 64-bit computing, energy info, uh, efficient computing, and LGA 775, and a 3-year limited warranty from Intel. Okay, let's unbox this processor. So over here we have a new heatsink front from Intel. It comes with together with the whole processor and there is already thermal grease applied so you don't need to buy any extra thermal grease to apply to your new uh, processor. And over here we have your user manual and as well as your Intel Pentium uh, inside case batch. And at the top of the fan we get allow me to focus get your E5400 uh, processor this is a SL6 um, I'm not sure I'm, it's a SLGTK chip 2.8 gigahertz and uh, 800 megahertz front side bus okay let's come with some specifications the status is launched the launch date is the uh, first quarter of 09 so actually quite a mature product right now and the processor number is E5400. There are number two, uh, two cores and two threads. That means uh, hyper threading is not supported, and that means there's uh, actually two physical cores with two logical threads as well. Clock speed is at 2.7 gigahertz. L2 cache of two megabytes. Your bus to core ratio e ratio is 13.5, and uh, it supports 64 bit. Let me scroll. Um, embedding options is not available. Lithography. This uses the 45 nanometer um, fabrication process. The max TDP is 65 watts, so it's a very energy efficient processor. And the VID voltage range is from 0 0.85 volts to 1.3625 volts. Okay, other than that, there is no integrated graphics on the chip itself, unlike the new chip from the i3 and the i5 and that's it okay there's no turbo boost technology i think turbo boost is only for your core i3 and the core i5 your core i7 and intel hyper training not enabled uh and there's a intel 64 yes that means uh, it supports 64-bit computing, enhanced Intel speed step technology, which uh, brings down the frequency of your processor to save electricity. And when you uh, are actually doing some uh, uh, memory intensive or uh, processor intensive stuff, you will bring your, pro uh, your processor speed back to 2.7 gigahertz. And that's all. Overall, I think this is a very good chip from Intel. It because uh, it has actually a very good price point. The E5300 and the E5200 is also around the same price, but a few dollar difference. So I actually can recommend you to go for the E5400 for an extra 0.1 or 0.2 gigahertz of um, increase in the processor speed. Thank you for viewing this video, and I hope you comment on my video and pro uh, give me more feedbacks uh, on how to improve my videos and thank you very much for more information about this product you can visit www.zungmycommodoblogspot.com or feel free to email me at wisezook.techgigsg at gmail.com thank you very much and hope you have a nice day